so in the video we were done up till here now like how we connect ross publisher and how we connect ross with unity and how we publish this so in this video i will tell you about how to add your urdf into this unity and how to control it with ross tally of twist keyboard package okay so firstly what you have to do you have to go within the package manager and you have to install this urdf importer package how will be doing will adding on this then you'll be adding git from here then you have to go on this link all these links i will be providing down in the description box so you have to copy this down then you have to come back and you have to paste it over here and add like you are doing for others then this will be added to you and make sure the version matter a lot so make sure you select the correct version okay the version is very important as i said in the last video as well even uh, you should also be having this ROS visualization package and ROS tcp because they are two important packages as well uh, even if you don't have ROS visualization package at least you should have ROS tcp connector if you haven't seen the last video then do check it out so that you know how to download this and how to run all those things okay okay now let's begin so in this video i will be importing a urdf of mastering ross book so which is one of the finest book in ross and i also recommend you if you are very much interested into learning a ross robots then Ma mastering ross by linux Joseph is a wonderful book okay so i'll be copying that to into our these assets so before doing that uh, we need an urdf not the jacro file if you go within this mastering ross description urdf if you have read the book or even if you are copying any of the any of your robot urdf then what we generally do is we have everything in a form of a i have already generated it but i will delete for you now i will show you how so we already have this you only have this jacro files jacro file of uh, all the things so there is one way to convert it into a urdf okay so what you have to do you have to go on your terminal cd src you have to locate your file then folder name and okay after that you can do like this there is a wonderful link that i got so you can convert it by running this command easily so i will be also running this command to convert it into a urdf ross run zacro uh, if we are using melodic then the no need of zacro dot file so i will be only using zacro then my model name is differential type robot Zacro then differential drive robot Zacro URDF okay I will click here then it will convert okay so I haven't sourced my so this may happen with you as well so you need to first source it okay so i need to source source devil dot setup dot this now this is done again i will go back to here now it is giving a warning like this is replaced with this so no need to go into so much of that but it's just a warning you can ignore it okay now the conversion is done let's see so we have this urdf over here so what you have to do in next step maybe you are using any other robot as well then you have to as per the uh, ross unity urdf tutorials you have to copy the entire repository entire repository but what i understood from this is that you can also just copy a urdf and everything linked to that urdf folder like there could be mesh as well and all the folder 
but right now for your simplicity i'll be copying the whole folder but you can try the way i, I told you we'll, i will be going on asset and in asset we need to make one folder we need to name it urdf now this is name now we'll go on the assets of this ross unity dash assets this is the location where my this scene is running okay so on this i will paste the entire now this is done i will come back to here now next thing is uh, the file that you want to copy that you want to convert you need to copy that to your rdf folder so i'll be copying this down easy way to use this one inside this urdf yeah this is the urdf we will be copying it to urdf over here okay so urdf is copied now we'll come back to urdf okay now this is done now you will right click this option will only show up when you already done with your package assets okay so you should have a urdf importer this package otherwise this option won't be coming for you so i just right click on this urdf within the urdf i just right click on differential will urdf put robot from selected urdf file okay so i let it be like this because this axis is as per the unity in ROS it is Z but as per unity is white so it's perfect no need to play around this just click import and you can always ignore this error those will not harm you anyway as you can see your robot is visible but let me change the screen color as well so that we can easily have a look yeah now have a see plain color has changed now you can easily see this this robot is perfectly imported next we'll be connecting for that i need to check my host name minus i so this is my host name within launch tcp and there is a launch file this this will be launching directly last time we'll be using uh, Python script, but now we'll be using the configuration file. So I will open my configuration file and I will change this value. Okay, now this is done. Close this up. I will source my terminal. Okay, I will do ROS launch. ROS. We also need to go on this robotic setting and we need to change this. So, this is our host name. So, we'll change this to this. So, once I change this, then last time we were making an empty object from here and then we'll be naming it. But this time, I'll show you one other way as well. Resources, you will get this ROS connection within your asset resources you'll get this so here it's the same thing just this is generating automatically so at the other way i already told you in the last video so you can follow that as well i think now this is connected yeah so now this is connected just let's play once uh, everything look fine now next part is next part is everything was connected okay now the next part is how we'll be controlling it with tally of test keyboard package so in the git repository of unity so they there is robotic snap to slam example within the asset scripts there is something called agv controllers so this is the script that you need to copy down you need you can copy this script entirely onto your asset like i've already done it so this is the script 
so this will be responsible for controlling the command velocity okay now let's go inside our differential light robot and we'll be pasting the script over here so right now you need to see yeah i already pasted the script out here so you need to select which two things you are going to connect like left wheel right wheel and the wheel radius all these things you need to set it up so wheel okay so we'll go inside this and check this up within the base link front left wheel collision unnamed cylinder all those things so will be is like is left wheel and this will be right wheel this is raw store this this all parameter we can set around and one more thing we do not need position controller so i'm turning this off so there are so many things inside this like base link urdf inertia visual collision and all the plugins that were part of gazebo comes over here so this become no use for us for right now till i know this so these are the things that things everything adjusted okay now just let's play this okay if everything will work fine then we'll be able to control it with ross run tally of twist keyboard twist keyboard package uh, yeah even we can see that is it subscribing to geometric twist message this is the message this is a topic you can see so hopefully it will work let's see this yeah it's working look it's working perfectly okay 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 so look so done that's it then we can check look so this is tally of twist keyboard package this is the command velocity message and this is service uh, server endpoint so this is that server endpoint that's subscribing to tally of twist keyboard package okay okay now let's try one more thing so will it work with our controller hopefully if values are right then it will work but let's give it a try i just want to show you, show you like what will happen if control is enabled okay now let's try moving it no it's not getting moved everything is connected so if your controller values are not right so this will happen so you need to turn off the controller that's why i said you to turn it off otherwise you need to set the right correct values of pid and everything okay now it's also registered now let's one second test it now it's working look look so if you do not know how to set up the controller then you may need to research this little bit okay so i hope you understood this video completely and try uh, looking onto this so there are so many things like there is this something called child joint you can define this joint is it a base link yeah it is a base link no not this one not is a base link this is a base link you can set all these things up mass linear damping there are so many things you can change the uh, urdf inertia you can change the fixed type to anything and we when you go on wheels then it can show you what direction it is rotating all those things so this this package makes it's very much easy to import the urdf and play around it so i hope you understood this thing completely so that's it for this video thank you